Hi, I'm Dr. Shiraz Patel with the Orthopedic Institute of Western Kentucky in Paducah, Kentucky. Here to talk to you about uh, robotic knee replacement. This is something that we've been um, anxious to start for the last several years and finally uh, incorporate into our practice. Um, I'm using the Zimmer robot called ROSA, R-O-S-A. It stands for Robotic Surgical Assistant. And that's what robotic surgery is really all about. It's having a surgical assistant that can see more and do more than the human eye and the human can do. So I was reluctant to start robotics until I felt that it was actually gonna help, help me make better decisions for patients. And that time has now arrived. Let me show you what we do with the standard knee replacement. So if this is, this is someone's knee, okay, we're looking at a, at a left knee just like this, okay? And typically in a knee replacement, we make an incision in the front and sweep the kneecap to the side. So let's just ignore the kneecap for now. So now you're left with the top bone, the femur, and the bottom bone, the tibia. And what we generally do is shave the, the femur and cap it like we cap a tooth. We shave the bottom bone, the tibia, put in a tray with a plastic liner, and that's your new knee. The way we put this in without a robot is we're drilling into the canal of the bone and using jigs that are based off the canal and based off of what we think looks good, quote unquote. And those results have been good, but always as a surgeon, can we be better? And I think now, I know now that it, with a robotic surgical assistant, it is. And here's, here's what we're doing. With the robot, with, when, before we make the same incision and I'm putting in, it's, it's uh, two arrays, which are almost, consume almost like cell phone, mini cell phone towers. We, and it's a tracking device. So I put two trackers here on the femur and two trackers here on the tibia. Then before I start the surgery, I'm, I'm moving the hip and the knee through 14 points. Then after I open up the knee, I am pointing to each point on the knee specifically and, and, and points on the leg. So the computer now has mapped out that person's individual anatomy. So we know that, for example, some people when they stand, they're in about a five degree angle, two degree angle, three degree angle relative to their hip, knee, and their ankle. Well, we don't know that. We can't tell that by just simply looking at a person, but now the robot will quantify that. Based off of normal, the person's normal anatomy, then we're making more accurate cuts. For example, when we cut the end of the femur right here, it is based off the robot calculating the normal angle that that femur sits at, and that's different for every single individual. Then the, the beauty of this is, I basically have a, a cutting jig that's placed by the robot, and I'm just brushing it, the, the bone with the saw, but the robot is, is holding the blade in a precise position. After I make my cuts, I can look on the screen and look at the alignment, how much bone I've taken off, how much soft tissue is loose or tight. It gives me that information that we can, we were never able to quantify before. During the surgery, I'm still doing the surgery. So if I don't like the tightness or the fit and I need to take off two more millimeters off this bone, I can set the robot, take two more millimeters off this bone and, and I can do that with the saw. Or if I wanna change it as little as one degree or a half a degree, I can do that accurately with a saw because the, the robot holds the saw in that perfect position to do that. So this has allowed me to take uh, knee replacements to the next level. It's given us information that we've never had before and it's gonna help us, I think, maximize and perfect outcomes for patients for years to come. First car I had was a clutch with no power steering. And I didn't have to practice to adapt to a car that had power steering and it was automatic. That's, that's how nice it makes uh, knee replacement surgery now. Now, I will also tell you that it does not do the surgery for you. If there are surgeons that aren't high volume knee replacement surgeons, this is not, the, this is not something for them because it's, it, the robot will not do the surgery for you. It is giving us as surgeons information that we never had before and we as surgeons have to use that information quantify it 
and, and make the best decisions for the patients. So yeah. the ultimate decisions on what I do are still based on what I feel and what I think a perfect knee looks like. But what the, what the robot gives me is accuracy that, it, that I, can't, I can't reproduce uh, without a robot. And, and so just to sum it up, I am still doing the surgery, but it gives me that extra accuracy. Let me give you one example. My goal when I make this tibial cut is to make it perp perp perfectly perpendicular to the long axis here, okay? Which I'm, I, I'm very accurate with that using an x-ray, but on the side view, I wanna make this cut about a five to seven degree slope. There's no way anyone, any surgeon can reproduce that two cases in a row even. With the robotic surgical assistant, I can make a seven degree cut from front to back perfectly every single time. That's, that's what the robot gives me over my, my standard instrumentation. In the end, especially for joint replacement, the number one thing you want is quality on, on, your, on, on the surgery so you can have longevity and never have to worry about your knee again.